Hello. I'm Atuma George and I'm here with my lovely wife Gloria. And we are so excited. And we consider this a great privilege <sighs> given to us by God to yeah. bring you his truth. Yes. Now God's truth is so priceless that if he can trust you with it, mm. then you're very important. Sweet. That's how we see ourselves. Yes. Praise God. Hallelujah. And 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 I know that today is going to be a great blessing to you. But before we go into the broadcast, can we call for that day? Are you ready? Make this declaration with us. Say, Father. Father. Today. Today. I make a demand. I make a demand. And I receive. And I receive. From you. From you. My daily bread. My daily bread. It's coming to me now. It's coming to me now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And Father, we honor you today. Hallelujah. Yeah. Let your wisdom flow freely through us. Amen. And Lord, every body is lifted, Amen. every yoke is destroyed. Amen. Right now. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Praise God. Hallelujah. Now, we are still talking about family matters. Yes. And we we were on something yesterday, talking about when you made a mistake. Mm. We said, you don't try to correct your mistake by, by yourself because it's foolishness mm. you made the mistake out of foolishness and now you now think you're wiser <laughs> uh, let, let's pick it up from there. praise the so lord so abraham made a mistake yeah and who caused him to make the mistake <laughs> his wife <laughs> sarah his wife now, that's actually supposed to be a costly mistake. Mm -hmm. Very. Because now, it involves a life of another. another. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we were living our peaceful lives without children. You know, there's there's a point, I'm sure, there's a point they got to, they, they were okay to, have, to live without children. I believe so. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, Abraham was 70 or 75 years old. Mm -hmm. When he was God, called. Come on now. Mm. He lived all that all that time. Now imagine how early they got married and they lived all that time without, without a child. There was, no, there was no there was no bothering anybody, mm. there was no family members mm. in a way, madam. I'm sure they passed all that stage like, in just like our lives. Mm. With all these servants, we, we've got some good servants mm. around us. And then God now showed up and began to talk about the child. Now, in the process of this, because the word of God created a kind of anxiety in them, like, yeah. brought forth an expectation. Mm. In the process of trying to sort out this thing, you make a mistake. Mm. And then another life Is got involved. involved. Another woman Is got involved. involved. Now, at first, it was like, okay. Uh, maybe that's the good thing to do. Mm. Since um, this woman was uh, made to... To Sarah. Yeah. But then, the point where Abraham realized this was a mistake. He could have gotten angry with Sarah. Sarah. I said, you, this woman, you caused me to derail from the <laughs> almighty God. I married her. Mm. How could I have made this kind of mistake? How could you have le how could I have listened to you? How could you have even suggested this thing? Mm. You are not a spiritual woman. You are not spiritual. Mm -mm. He could have gone all oh. that. But he did it. And guess what? See, I came back to him. <laughs> I said, look, my bad. <laughs> You caused me to do this. How dare you come tell me that? Can you imagine this 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 girl? Since because I I I can you imagine how she's disrespecting me now? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna deal. You know, perhaps they say I was dealing with her guy. Yeah. yeah, I dealt with her mm -hmm. guy ran away. Mm -hmm. And guess what? When she ran away, now you can study these things for yourself. When she ran away, the word of God came to her. And God says, Hey guy, go back. Where are you going to? from my mother she's she's troubling me so much and god said that's when she was pregnant mm. 
Mm. And God says, go back and, and submit. submit. That touched me. Mm. I said, Lord, this is, you are just something else. This lady was telling you that her boss is maltreating Treating her. her. And you just told her, go back, back and submit. You didn't say, I'm going to talk to you, but I'm going to deal with your boss. Mm. He said, you go back and submit. Mm. And then he began to speak about the charge Child. he's carrying. Now, the Bible never told us that Sarah repented. I don't know if you understand. The Bible never told us that Sarah repented. Maybe, maybe when she went back to submit, Sarah said, Oh, I'm so sorry. I, I, I. Or the Bible never said God convicted Sarah of her actions. Rather, after the birth of the child, and then Sarah had her own child, then we, we, we read Sarah going to Abraham and said, I think you need to send this. Time for separation. Oh, man. <laughs> this is your trouble. You caused this, this thing to happen in our lives. Now, you are not taking responsibility. You are pushing the responsibility over to, to me. To, he says, he's telling to say, to where? To where? Well, you see, Abraham did the wisest wise. thing. Exactly. What did he do? He went, went to the Lord. Lord and said, Lord, how do I handle this? He could have stood there and argued it out with his wife and mm. said, no, mm -hmm. instead of her to go, you, you go. Because you are the one that is being <laughs> wicked and, and, and being mm -hmm. uh, insensitive. Mm -hmm. It's not my fault. Mm -hmm. How can I, 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 I want to take responsibility of mm -hmm. my actions. Mm -hmm. So Never. even go as far as saying, drop my child, you can go. You can go, yes. It's causing division already in the home. Never mm -hmm. try to fix a Thanks. mistake. By yourself. by yourself. Never. You don't have enough wisdom to do to fix you it. Don't. You don't. No matter how wise you are, you don't have enough wisdom to, to fix, fix your mistake. Mm. You want to fix a mistake, take it to, to the, the Lord. Lord. Because now you would think that God was going to be angry at Ishmael, mm. going to be angry at Ishmael, Sarah too. And going to be angry at Sarah. Mm. But no, God says, you know, God says, go back and submit. Mm. And he says, look, you see that child you're carrying? Ah, his name. That's when God gave him his name. His name mm. shall be Ishmael. And I'm going to bless him. I'm going to make him great. Mm -hmm. You know, Ishmael was a godly seed. Yeah. Because Hagar too was a godly seed. Yeah. I don't know they were godly seed. God listened to hear the voice of, of God. God. My sheep. Yes, yeah, my voice. voice. So, so Hagar was a child of God. Yes. Ishmael was a child of God. Mm -hmm. you, know, you know, now. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Now, now, no. Just go on. <laughs> you know, we said all of this to say that what is the challenge that is going on in your home at the moment? What are you condemning yourself for? What are you holding against your wife? Wife, what are you holding against your husband? What are you even holding against your children? Because you know, sometimes as Christian families, we become so religious in our relationship with God that we are even so judgmental yeah. of one another that we forget that there is a God you know, that we all submit to. You know, and this is the truth. Spirituality mm. without maturity makes you judgment. Yeah. If you've gained some measure of spirituality, mm. knowledge in spirituality. Maturity. But then you are not mature mm. enough to handle it, you become mm. judgment. Yeah. Because spirituality must be backed up and, and that's when that spirituality came from, from the Lord. Exactly. That's what I was going to say. Because it's the Lord that you, you understand Him. Yeah. Your spirituality must mm -hmm. be your growth in knowledge and oh, understanding of, of God. Yes. Your spirituality shouldn't be how long you pray. Mm -mm. You say, do you know how long I pray? How often I go to church? <laughs> or, or my status, or my status in, in church. church. Or, or you know, that has mm -mm. destroyed so many people. Yes. Because there are people who are going through pain. They cannot speak out, out. Because they feel everybody see me here. So how can they now know? What's going on? 
that I can right. handle my wife. Mm. No. <laughs> you are no. a baby in the <laughs> sight of God. <laughs> and earlier you, you realize that I'm beginning to function like that before him. Mm. And say, Lord, I don't know what, what to, to do. do. James 1 5 says, If any man Lack lacks wisdom, wisdom let him go ask. And ask. Don't go be go proud on. about it. Don't be proud about it. Don't, 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 don't speak. He said, hey, if you want people to think that mm. hey, I'm not raising my family well. well. If you're not raising your family well, you're not raising your family well. It's as simple as that. Mm. So don't start thinking of what people think. Put your hands to work. Begin to raise them. It doesn't matter where they are right now. Begin to raise them well. How? I know we stop. That you are going to dedicate yourself to receive from, from the, the Lord. Lord. And that's where the challenge is most mm. times. People are unwilling to and, and, and see you you are waiting for another person to change mm. without realizing that you need to change first. Change how? If it's not been working, then it means you've been doing it the, the wrong, wrong thing. Way. Yeah. So why don't you connect it the back to source, knows? which is God? And let him begin to give you his wisdom mm. in dealing with, with this, this issue situation. concerning your spouse, concerning your, your children, children. or even same, yourself. The same thing. Mm. You, you think about yourself to, oh, I've developed a bad attitude, I've developed a bad habit, and I want to change from it. Mm. Go before the Lord. Say, Lord, I, I just noticed this about myself. Take out a day or two to fast and pray concerning that day. And, and when you fast and pray, see, it's, that's another mistake people make. You think when you fast and pray for three days, and this thing will leave you. And, and you, 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 you're fast and you're counting day one, day two. Day three, this thing must leave. That's not how it leaves. What happens during that fast is what will determine if that thing will change or, or not. not. So why do I fast and pray? I turn my attention from every other thing so I can turn it to the Lord mm -hmm. and then receive wisdom, Words. receive instruction from mm -hmm. Him. Mm -hmm. So what is going to change that situation is the now instruction that I uh, receive during that fast. Yes, exactly. Mm. So then I'm open to the Lord and I'm telling you this, the first person the Lord is going to deal with is it's you. you. <laughs> He's gonna deal with you. you know, now you come before the Lord and say, Lord, I don't understand. You know, whatever your boss, your family member, your spouse, oh, this, 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 this woman is struggling mm -hmm. so much. Oh, this woman is struggling. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Lord, help me deal with her. And Lord said, Yes, so. You know what the Bible says? Have you resisted unto blood? Hmm. Sometimes I've done everything I know to do. Have and you it's resisted not working. resisted hmm. unto blood? Now, the Lord will explain that scripture to me. I was wondering, how do you resist unto blood? And guess what the Lord told me? He said, David did it. Hmm. David did it. Do it. Saul was after David's life. And here was Saul sleeping. Mm. And David knew standing there, Saul wakes up, he'll be mm. dead. Man. Yes. And he had a spear that he could use mm. to kill Saul. Mm. I call it self-defense. Mm -hmm. But he looked at Saul and he says, no. You know why he did that? His trust was in God. In the Lord. Mm. That, the Lord told me that's what it means to resist. Unto blood. blood. He didn't give up. Killing Saul would have meant giving up. Giving up what? The truth? No. Mm -mm. Giving up his faith in, God. in God's promise. To, to bring to pass what he said. Mm. So now he feels like he's not working. I now never put my it. hand in mm. and get it done myself. Mm. It's the same thing applying everything. First of all, how sure are you of what God said? Said to you. And allow him to fulfill it. Allow him to fulfill it. Sometimes you, you you'll see things that will offend you. Sometimes you'll see things you want to help. You're like, oh. you told me this. Mm. That's my first and foremost. 
we ask that question. What is the vision that your family, family. Have? exactly? <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's just let's just pray. Father. Thank you, Lord. Can you just go ahead and bless? Father, we give you praise. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for opening up these scriptures to us. Yes. The more we look into it, the more we are discovering the hidden treasure that is inside your word. The more you're opening up us or opening us up to more, even beyond what we even felt that we know. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Thank you Lord God, because this word has come for a time such as this. And no matter the situation that is going on in every family right now, by your spirit is arrested because of your word. Amen. Thank you, Lord God, because your children will be bold enough to come and obtain mercy yes. where they need mercy. Yes. And they will come to ask for wisdom. Yes. Thank you, Lord God, because you will give to every man according to how he needs it. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, that every storm will cease and peace will be still in every home. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Thank you, God. Jesus. I believe mm. God is working a miracle in, in your and in your life. Hallelujah. We'll see you. We'll see you tomorrow. Mm. Until then, bye.